We are going to be painting this face today because I feel like it. Okay. Foundation. Get the cat hairs out of your fingers before you apply your foundation. Apply your foundation in these areas and just blend it out. Powder. Tap the areas where you want your coverage to stay. Brush the rest of your face. Eyebrow pencil. Draw the hairs in the beginning. Fill the rest of the brow. Brush, brush your brow out. Make it look more blended, more natural. Get rid of clumps. Eyeshadow. Round brush. I'm taking a shade that matches my lip color. Nothing special, just adding a little bit of color in my eyes. Warm up the face. Don't forget to moisturize your lips beforehand. Moisturization is key for nice lips. Put two dots where your liner should be and go draw that line. Take your time with these lines. Curl. Volumizer. Lip. Mascara. Balm. Finito. style my hair today because I'm way too lazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to film. Um, now that I'm put together, I don't know what to film. If I look like a hobo, I can probably film. But then if I dress up like this, then it's like all of a sudden I don't know how to talk and act in front of a camera. Uh, so, what I do. Hello, I'm Mia Lopez and I am a book hoarder. I don't have a lot of books as much as a hoarder might have. Though, as a person who wants to live with much less things, it seems like I have way too many books. Part of me buys it because I feel like if I have these books, in close proximity, I will eventually pick them up, read them, and be the innest person in the whole entire universe. Like, I am part of the group, part of the gang, and that's just not it, sis. I tend to keep them, and I tend to try and read them, even though I don't enjoy them, because other people say that that certain book is a good read, and it's a classic, therefore you should have read it. If not, what are you doing with your life, you savage? What are you doing with your life, illiterate swine? Those are the thoughts that go in my head if I don't read these books. I bought myself a knee reader, basically, to combat my buying of books. This 2020, one of my goals is to read the books on my shelf. There are some books on my shelf that are borrowed, so I'm going to be returning those. There are books on my shelf that I am not interested reading, so I'm going to be no donating those. It is time to declutter. I am moving to a different apartment upstairs, and I don't feel like lugging all these books upstairs. So let's just do this. Let's just declutter a little bit, shall we? Conversations with God. 
I might read this in the future, so I'm keeping these. Het raadsel van goed en kwaad, the puzzle of good and evil. Haven't opened this, but it was cheap, so I think I'm going to read this. Lolita. I mean, it's beautifully written, but the plot is just what the heck. So. I don't know, this is like a maybe. Fellowship of the Rings uh, from the library, so I'm going to be giving that back because actually that is long due. Dante's Inferno, definitely reading this because Dante Alighieri. Mm. The Untembare Vrouw, the Untamed Woman. This is borrowed from the library of my internship, so I'm returning this. Train your cat in 10 minutes per day. I already trained my cat with most of the tricks over here, so I think I am going to be giving this away. The Hobbit. In Dutch. In Dutch. I tried reading The Hobbit in Dutch. I cannot follow. I thought I would be able to understand The Hobbit much better if I read it in Dutch, but it does not help me at all. So I'm going to be giving this away. The Golden Cage by J.D. Oswald. This is the book that I was talking about, uh, the third book in a series that I haven't read yet. So I think I'm going to give this away. Also, it was very childish. It felt like um, the Aragon series. I'm glad I'm not reading it because it, it's just childish. The Bible for non-believers part three saul david samuel and ruth actually it's quite an interesting book i like to keep it i like to keep it dan brown the lost symbol this is actually a gift from my uncle and it has it's the dan brown story and it just has pictures and symbols and everything uh, I, I i think i finished this book actually but it's illustrated edition and it's a gift it has a little bit of sentimental value to it, so uh, I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. Quite on. I really like this book, actually. I haven't read all of the stories because this book kind of feels like when you read a story from this book, it's like when you eat something and it's so it's such a blast of flavor in your mouth. You're just like, <clears throat> that's 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 this book. That's the stories in this book. So I like this book. So keep it. John C. Maxwell. Think on these things. I might read this, but I'm not in the mindset yet, and I'm not grown yet to be picking this up right away. But I, it's a gift from an aunt of mine, given with good intentions. So I'm keeping it. The day that I met Jesus. Now, this book, uh, I don't know, I don't want to give an explanation to as to why I'm giving this away, but I'm giving this away. Dan Brown's Inferno, and again, it is hardbound, and I really, really like this book. I really like the Dan Brown series, but I'm going to be giving this away. Whew, that's the first shelf done. The second shelf is more so sketchbooks, so I'm not going to be giving those away. The third are art supplies, so this is a book that I borrowed from my internship, so I'm going to be giving this back. This is just a case. Okay, second layer. Okay, now these books, I think, are more so important books. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get rid of a lot of books that are here. These are school books. This is my internship, internship book, a borrowed school book. This is also from my internship. Japanese art. I'm giving this away. Like, it does not spark joy. This is school book, school book, school book, sketchbook. Kinade, the Kracht van het Evangelie. It's also a really good book. This is a retail of Anna Karenina. I really like this book actually. Yeah, it's very confronting but also very nice. Killing Commendatore. I still have to finish this book but to be honest, it feels so flat. So I'm going to be keeping this but I wish I can finish this. Haruki Murakami's Kafka on the Shore. Uh, I think it was a really interesting story and I just really like how the real overlaps with the imaginary and the symbolic. So. Very interesting read, this one. This is my e-reader. This is my queen, Marie Kondo. I got this from uh, Rahma. And it is a manga 
of how to minimalize your house, your life. Ever since I read Miss Kondo, ever since I watched Miss Kondo, I just jumped in the bandwagon and I am constantly decluttering and I'm constantly throwing things away. <laughs> to be honest, or giving things away because I can't with all this stuff. I already find the stuff that I have, which isn't a lot, a lot. So I'm constantly giving stuff away. Last part of my thingamajig. I have Cezanne and his art. Um, I have pictures of medieval clothing. That's a reference book. I have Philippine prehistory. I haven't read this book, but I think I should because of all the things that are happening in the Philippines, like for real. I have this book called Outside Beauty. Oh, there it is! Or Masterpieces of Vincent van Gogh. I should read this book to be honest. It was a gift and I never read it. Drawing for fashion designers. Maybe I'll keep this for clothing references and how to like draw textures, how to draw different clothing material and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep this. Practices and succulents. There aren't really a lot, a lot of nice Nice pictures. I'm giving this away. I'm sorry. Bye. Aquarelle. Okay, good. Just in case. Just, just. Book about mythology. And this is also a reference. Just so I have like inspiration to draw stuff. And also, mythology is kind of cool. They're just stories, but. Drawing people. I don't like this book. I'm just gonna keep it. Oil painting books and more watercolor books. Oh, I'm giving these. Away. Okay, took off my lipstick because it was just like, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I did take a lot of my books out. My bouquets, it has diminished, but I'm still not happy with how much it has diminished. And I am quite annoyed with the fact that most of these books are school books and I don't want to get rid of them all that quickly. I don't know if it's possible to get them online anywhere as a digital copy because I don't want to be lugging around books for the rest of my life. So <laughs> yeah, but for now, I, I have to go. I have to go places. I have enough sprack. I have a meeting today. So I'm going to just throw on my jaggy and then I'm gonna go and sort out this book thing later. I just got home from therapy and it's a lot. It's always a lot. Every time I go to therapy, uh, I tend to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And it's just a lot. It's just a lot. It's just a lot. I'm trying to kind of put place a place for everything in my life because I never really had so yeah every time i come home i just feel like there's a burden it's not really a burden i can kind of forget about it and just like ignore it and just be like i'm fine you know <laughs> i'll feel apathy i wouldn't feel fine i would feel apathy towards whatever i talked about i've been talking about a lot of things to a lot of people and there hasn't been like a professional to help me there are se several things that's not finished yet that's not like ended it's over even though like the moment that keeps uh happening is already in the past and it's long in the past but how that affects me that's still going on and there are still a lot of things that affect me and there are so many things that are intertwined with one another that kind of affect me and i want to be able to get to a point where it's not going to take control over me anymore and my actions i know why this thing is happening right now and i have the strength and the tools to come back whatever i normally do that doesn't really help me you know kind of kind of thing and i already showed up in the therapy that's enough you know like one hour talking about these things like is enough you know and right now i'm talking about it still because it just has to be finished like i'm i'm at home i got my hair up got my cat she's really happy to see me are you hmm? no she's not yes yeah, she is 
I've done my work for the day and it's not physical work, it's not fine work that will give, give me financial things but it is emotional work and emotional work is just as important as any other kind of work so <laughs> I do want to give a small thank you to everybody who has been watching. I did release three vlogs for the month of May for a challenge, but also to step out of that comfort zone a little bit and was definitely afraid speaking up, outing myself, definitely afraid of just showing myself online and uh, it was really nice to hear people and see really nice comments about just seeing that re being received well by other people is just a really nice thing and so I'd like to thank everybody for for just watching the videos and enjoying them. I really do like making videos, I just don't post them as much. I hope that in the future I'll be able to continue making content. I do have some stuff already planned, I do have some surprises <laughs> in store so I can't wait to kind of share that with everybody. I just wanted to say thank you so much for the little group of people that I have, all my friends to support me, all my uh, YouTube followers. <laughs> yeah, I'm really thankful for the people who do watch and the people who do enjoy my videos. <sighs> Here's to me making more content, I guess, and posting them online and not being afraid of like sharing stuff online. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs>